Hey, here we go again. We are going to talk about Woke. Okay, The Last of Us was just aired yesterday. And there's a lot of people that's pretty freaking mad right now. <laughs> it's pretty mad right now because of the lesbian preteens, if you can believe that, lesbian preteens. Uh, inside the game, Last of Us, everybody was white, okay? Everybody was white. They got a Chilean actor to play the lead. They got a biracial girl to play the other, you know, play the other white girl. Then there was another white girl, and, uh, apparently they are lesbians at, like, 10 years old. I mean, <laughs> okay, 10 years old, all right, whatever, uh, okay, yeah, cool. Well, so, you know, I, I didn't watch it, thank God. I was not a big fan of The Last of Us, uh, series anyway. I played the first one through, and, uh, that was it. I was pretty much done. And, um, so now you can't watch anything on TV. You have to understand, ladies and gentlemen, that these assholes, these ass wipes, these dumb shits, are catering to a minority instead of the majority. There's what, 5% homosexuals and lesbians and stuff like that in a country of 330 something million people? If you, if you, a studio, movie or TV, and you rely on the audience for your money, to get your money back from the productions, right? Wouldn't you cater to the majority instead of the minority? So if 5%, let's say 10%, 330 million people in this country, that's, okay, what? 30%, uh, 10% of 30, 300 and something million people, okay? You're gonna, that's like, what, three million gay, lesbians, homosexuals, whatever. You're gonna cater to them instead of the 300 plus million people that wanna watch the show, that ends up not watching the show? Right? Right? Am I right? Right? Doesn't that make sense? Oh, it's political. Uh, that doesn't put money in the coffers of the companies or whatever that they're... Morning, welcome to Brayton. I'm going to help you. Have a number four with coffee. Got it, thank you. Thanks. Yeah, I'm over here doing the drive through So, wouldn't, wouldn't you... It, may, it would make sense, right? It would make sense. <laughs> I, I just don't get the mentality here. I don't get it. Right? So then, you know, I mean, if you look at the Grammys, all the black folks and the Asians won. White is bad. Everything else is good. It was just like that with the academies the last two or three years running, right? You know, and some of the movies that these people got academies for, I watched them and it was questionable. Very, very questionable. Wow. Mm. So, you know. Thank you. I mean, it's it's questionable, right? Uh, so then, you know, you got all these other movies like Viking Warriors and all that. They're all that other bullshit that's on HBO's or Cinemax or whatever. I decided to give it a watch and after about half hour I was done. Female Vikings 
going on biking raids and they're more tougher than some of the guys they're killing. There was, there was no such thing in biking culture. Women stayed home. They stayed in the villages, protect the villages. So if they get biking or raided, you know, they're going to be running out there with hatchets and axes. But they don't go out on biking raids, dude. That is a blatant disrespect of the actual culture. And that's because the studios... No, it's purple. Purple. Purple and coffee. So that's... And, and I got a beef with that, I mean... You know, and I watched, last year I watched Kingdoms. Actually, no, during the summer. Had some good stuff, but then these female warrior horse shit came out of nowhere. Completely against the culture. Completely. <laughs> so, whenever I would see a wool or a Coffee time. Coffee time. Thank you. Monday. Monday. Monday, then we have him in the drive. So that's my beef. I mean, I got a tr hell of a beef going on here. We got to be diverse. No, you don't. Stick to the story. Stick to what's going on. Oh, we got to be diverse. So what's going to happen with Grand Theft Auto 5? The black guy who's the main guy, you're going to turn him what? To a Native American Indian? Or a Vietnamese guy? Or a white guy? No. Everybody knows about the damn video game. He's a black guy. You don't replace him with an Indian, a white guy, a Vietnamese guy, or whatever, or a gay guy. You put a black guy in there. The game. Everybody knows the character. Everybody knows the story right makes sense no we gotta be diverse because you know you can be diverse we got to so you're gonna cater to 3 million people out of 330 million people okay cool that's yeah that's a great idea yeah re really good really good and then you got all these gay and lesbian films that are coming out that are absolutely tanking tanked made no money and they're like what happened uh catering to the 10 percent of the country's population oh man look at that big old black lady Dale. and she has a lead foot damn look at her go this shit charge anyway this is Jeff and uh, this is, wow okay so bring on the hate when I post this video huh? bring it on